Hey man, that car is waiting for your spot. Oh, I hate that. I'm going. What happened to patience? What are you doing, man? Come on, that car's waiting. Let's go. Yeah, give me a second. I can't text while I drive. And anyways, I was here first. He can wait as long as he wants. Why would you be rude for no reason? Come on, I always try to leave as soon as I can. That's not true. I've been in the car with you so many times, and you always make them wait. Whatever, man. It's not true. It is true, man. Anyone will wait longer when there's another car there. It's like instinct, you know, defending your territory. You know, I think the average person is nicer than that. You know, I think they would leave right away if someone's waiting. I think that you're the exception. Well, you're the psych major, why don't you figure it out? All right, I will then. Actually, I have a project coming up for my research methods class. I'll let you know the results. Help me find out who is right. In groups of two to three, identify the specific research questions implied by our conversation. Answer what hypothesis would your group suggest? What predictions can you make if your hypothesis is correct? How could you test the predictions? If you were to investigate this issue, how would you do it? The researchers stood in front of the main entrance to a shopping mall and watched shoppers as they left. They timed the shoppers from the time they opened their vehicle's door to when they had completely left the parking space. The researchers noted how many people were traveling in the vehicle as well as whether or not another vehicle was waiting for the parking space. Scene 2. In groups of 2 to 3, answer what method are the researchers using to investigate the research question? How does this test the hypothesis? Based on the hypothesis, what would you expect they would find? For the 200 drivers observed, average seconds to leave the parking space were as follows. Intruded upon, 39.03 seconds. Not intruded upon, 32.15 seconds. The researchers also looked at whether it took those traveling with others longer to leave than those who were alone. With others, 37.45 seconds. Alone, 30.64 seconds. Scene 3. In groups of 2 to 3, answer the following questions. What does this tell us? Does the data support your hypothesis? What might be a weakness or some weaknesses of this method? How might researchers use another method to explore this research question? Are there additional effects that the researchers should investigate? The researchers were concerned that the type of car waiting or some behavior of the driver of that car might make a difference in the actions of the people in their first study. To deal with this, they designed an experiment. They used a low-status car, a 1985 Nissan Maxima, and a high-status car, a 1994 Infiniti Q45 or 1993 Lexus CS400. They had three levels of intrusion. 1. No intrusion, which means no car was waiting for the spot. 2. Low intrusion. Another car waited four spaces from and facing the direction of the departing car. And 3. High intrusion. The car waited four spaces from the departing car, turned on its turn signal, and honked the horn once after the driver sat behind the wheel. The high-status cars were involved in half, of the each, in half of each of the intrusion conditions, and the low-status cars in the other half of the intrusion conditions. An observer recorded the number of seconds it took the driver to leave the space after he or she opened the door. Scene 4. In groups of 2 to 3, answer the following questions. What do you think the hypotheses of the researchers were? What would you predict they would find? What made this study an experiment and not a naturalistic observation? What did the researchers find about the effect of intrusion on length of time to leave a space? And here are the results for the average number of seconds that vehicles took to leave a parking space in three different conditions. With no intrusion, 26.45 seconds. Low intrusion, 30.80 seconds. High intrusion, 42.75 seconds. 
The researchers asked participants whether another driver would affect the time they took to vacate their space. Participants made judgments on a scale from 1, make the time shorter, to 7, make the time longer, with 4 in the middle as no effect. The researchers asked people to make this judgment both for their own behavior and for others' behavior, and whether the other car honked or not. The results can be found in this table. With their own behavior and low intrusion, 1.87, with high intrusion, 4.88, with others' behavior, low intrusion, 2.83, high intrusion, 4.40. What does this tell us? What does it tell us about what people think they do and think others do in response to intrusion? Do these results and the results of the other studies tell us about anything else besides parking? Do people behave in similar ways in other places besides parking lots? And what other kinds of situations might these results help us understand human behavior?